What is up? Need for Speed Racers. It is I, your wheel man, Alex Cornut. Got a little different video today. I know a lot of you guys are going to flame me in the comments for this, but this is honestly, let's help the community. Let's figure some stuff out. PC players only. This will not work on console because I don't know how to download this program to make it work. But a lot of us have been getting our save file corrupted. That's why I started Billion Dollar Builds because all of my previous save stuff got totally screwed up and corrupted. So we had to start a new and I wasn't going to grind everything back out. So I gave myself a billion dollars and we went all in. I'm going to show you how to do that, how to give yourself as much money as you need so you can go purchase all the things that you want to get back into the gameplay loop and play the game with the rest of us. This is not a situation to where by giving yourself unlimited money, you now have this incredible advantage. Driver skill is still the king of the crop here. This isn't a way for anybody to make anybody's cars faster than others. It just then gives you the resources to buy the cars that you have unlocked, buy the parts that you need, and then also experiment within that because you've got unlimited money to experiment with, which for some of us, if you're grinding out again after your save file got corrupted, there is no extra room for experimentation because you're just trying to get into the meta. So let's break it down and get right into it. First and foremost, you need to download the program. It is called Cheat Engine 7.5. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up Google Chrome right here. Drag it into the screen. And we're going to go just search for Cheat Engine. Done. Okay, cool. The first thing that pops up is right here. I'm going to zoom in on this a little bit so that way all of you guys can see what we're doing. Cheat Engine pops up. It's the very first thing. CheatEngine.org. Only get it from there. Don't download it from anywhere else. There is no other place. This is the only way that I know how to do it. You're going to go to Cheat Engine. Right there, the big ass green button that says Download Cheat Engine is exactly what you're going to click on. You click that. Get rid of the ad that pops up. Click the X. And it'll download. And we're done. Now that it is downloaded, let's pull up my downloads. It's right here. So what we're gonna do, I downloaded it twice because I was testing earlier, but you're gonna take the cheat to 7.5, you're gonna open it, and you're gonna run it. Now, some of you guys may have a really good ad blocker on your computer. If you are using your parents' computer or the family PC, and they have virus software and stuff, that could give you a hang up here where you're gonna have to disable that to download this because there's so many different versions of how that software can affect that download. I am not gonna do a tutorial on it because I don't, you know, AVG is gonna be different from Avast, different than McAfee, whatever. So if your virus software is stopping you from being able to download that, you need to go through the process of being able to get through that firewall. Cool, so now you're here, the setup. Easy clap, let me minimize these. We're gonna do English. Do not skip through this because it will install shit on your parents' PC that you do not want because that's how they get this program up there for free. So click OK. Welcome to Cheat Engine, neat. Next. Now, right here. If you click accept, you just f yourself and you put a promotional offer of extra software on the computer that you don't want. So we're gonna decline this or skip all, but I'm gonna show you a decline of how many things pop up. So we're gonna decline. Now it's like, hey, do you want Webify Advisor, McAfee? Nope, I want to decline that. Do you want Norton VPN and all this other stuff? Nope, we're going to decline that. Now we've declined all the bullshit. I want to show you that because I don't want anybody to get tripped up and be like, oh, Cornet, I infected my parents' PC with McAfee. We got Web Advisor. We got all kinds of stuff. And this is your fault. No, bitch, I told you. You should really only do this as if it's your computer. If you play on the family PC, stay away from that stuff. So cool. We've done it. We've installed Cheat Engine. We're going to launch it. This comes up, I just click cancel because I don't wish to use that. Now, once you click cancel, this is Cheat Engine 7.5. It's a really neat program. All it does is search for memory values of numbers within a set format or parameter. So the parameter that we're gonna use is Need for Speed Unbound. And then we're gonna search for specific numbers so we can edit our money. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So first and foremost, you got to boot up Need for Speed. We're here. Go into single player or multiplayer. You can do either. So it'll work for single player if you need unlimited money to get through stuff, but it'll also work in multiplayer. Use at your own risk. I've been using it. I've had no problems, but if they decide to wake up to this, they the developers watch my video and then they ban all of us. Sorry, you guys, but I've got a billion dollars. I've been running this way for a long time. 
I haven't had any problems. So now you're at this screen. I am not on a server. I have not clicked play. I have not gone to participate with other people. That's very important. Do it at this screen where it's just you in your own lobby, your own menu. So now we've done that. We're going to bring back up Cheat Engine right here. So the way this program works is you need to set its parameters. So we're going to go click on the computer. We're going to click on Need for Speed Unbound. And we're going to click Open. So now Cheat Engine is only going to search for values within Need for Speed Unbound. What I want you to do is this. You're going to have no money. Let's just assume you're, you're broke broke. Rides, buy and sell. Search by manufacturer. Go over to the Bugatti Chiron. The reason I like to use the Bugatti, and you can do this with any car, but the Bugatti's got a very specific number attached to it that's very easy to search. So the value of the Bugatti, as you'll see here, is 3665000. So what we're going to do is we're going to search for that value within all the memory. So 3665000 right here. And we're going to click first scan. It's going to be the first time that we've searched for that number using Cheat Engine. It does its thing. Boom. It found 13 addresses. So that is the memory portion of the game that has that value associated with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make that car affordable. I'm going to, I clicked the top one. I held shift. I clicked the bottom one. I selected all of them. Select all of those any way that you want. That's my way to do it right click and then while they're all still highlighted you'll click change value of selected addresses now i can change the value in the memory to whatever i want i would really like to get that bugatti for one dollar and i'm going to click ok so now it was previously three six six five oh 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 now they're all one dollar watch our money up here we've got nine thirty six oh three seven seven six i'm going to click on the bugatti would you like to buy it for one dollar yes i would and then store in the garage never buy a car at a discounted rate and then drive it always store it in the garage so we just bought it for a dollar our num our money didn't even go down which is really weird but whatever it cost me nothing to buy that as you guys can see so i'm gonna go over to the sell tab search by manufacturer we've got that bugatti in our bank one eight three to five hundred is how much it currently sells for one eight three two five hundred three two five hundred excuse me so we're gonna do a new scan not a, the next scan means you're scanning for another version of that memory we're gonna do a new scan and then once you click new scan it takes you back to the first screen one eight three two five hundred click first scan again it's going to find all the values of that 1832500, which is how much that car sells for. There they all are, okay? I'm going to give myself $70 million to put me back up at a billion. So I'll select all of them, click the top one, hold shift, click the bottom one, right click, change value of selected addresses. Let's go $70 million. Is that $70 million? One more. Okay. Okay. Click on the car, sell it. I now have a billion dollars and I just sold that Bugatti for $70 million. That's it. We're done. Now, until you restart the game, the Bugatti specifically is going to be a little funny, a little weird. The values are going to be a little off. It's always going to buy for $1. And it's always going to, uh, once you buy it for a dollar, it's always going to sell for a dollar. So do it once, give yourself unlimited money, restart the game, and everything will be as normal. Buy the cars that you want, buy the parts that you want, tune them up, do whatever you do, that's fine. Pro tips, don't change the value of a car and then play with it. I've never done that. I've never had any problems. So just follow the instructions. Take the car, edit the value, sell the car for a high number, rich. This works in single player and in online. Go have fun. Use this to buy the cars that you want to play with. I hate having a lot of the good stuff that people want to play with and develop tucked behind a paywall or a play wall in this case. It takes hours and hours of grinding and some of us don't have hours to grind. A lot of you guys are maybe dads out there that work all week long or moms out there that work all week long and you got three or four hours to play on the weekend. 
this is your gateway to playing with all the cards that you've got unlocked. You're still going to have to do your playlists to unlock other cards and do things. And there are ways around that, but it's a higher tier video. And for the base level, just to get everybody in the door, this is the best way that I know how to do that. And once you do that, you can buy anything you want. The money will stay and any car you buy will be in the garage and you're good to go. Don't flame me too much, you guys. I know there's going to be like, oh, Corn, that's a cheater. It's like, dude, guys, we played this game for over a year before I started doing this crazy stuff. But when my save file got screwed up, this is how I got right back onto the planet and started having my money to build the cars for you guys. And so this is more of a here's how to do it, PC players, in a very clean way. So that way you guys have got all the tools you need to do it. Everybody have a great rest of your day. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.